Hello. I'm going to try to do this video kind of quietly because um, my stepdad is asleep in the next room, but um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update about um, how things have been going so far for me with LuLaRoe because it's been a little while since I was on here to do a video, so I thought I would just come on and let you know how the whole experience is going. Um, it's been since September that I started selling. I onboarded back in August of 2016. So I had my inventory by September 1st and I was off and running. Um, I had a great, my first month I sold about like 6,000. In October I sold 10. In November I sold 10. In December I took two weeks off and I sold eight. In January I did about seven. Um, and then February and March have each been around six to seven thousand dollars in sales. So um, not as good as I, I hit it really hard in the beginning, I think. And I was doing a lot of vendor events and I was doing a lot of pop ups. And um, the Christmas season was here and there had been like this tall, curvy legging shortage. And then we got tall, curvy leggings and it was this huge thing. And I did a fantastic fundraiser for German Shepherd Rescue in New Jersey. Um, so those things contributed to, I think, more sales. And I sort of backed off in December. I wanted some family time, but you know, like it's LuLaRoe, so you decide that. I did sign three girls under me. Two of them are in Florida. One of them is in Georgia here with me. And I have a fourth girl that's in the queue. And I have a fifth girl that is pretty close to signing up, I think. And um, a sixth person that is still thinking about it. So I'm on my way to having a pretty good team and I'm excited about that. I like team building. I love doing training videos. I love, um, we kind of compete, I think a little bit on my team and I, and I look at the, um, um, the sales reports and I can see how people are doing and I get excited when the girls are doing really well under me and I'm almost more excited for them than for me. Um, one of my girls just did a fantastic, um, album sale last week and just knocked it out of the park and, like just kicked butt and I was really really happy for her and it's a neat feeling it's like being a parent when your kids do something really awesome and you just feel so good so um, it's been a really fun journey it's had its ups and downs um, there have been times when I thought oh my god I can't do this this isn't for me it's not working out like hostesses will cancel on you when you've been planning to do pop-ups for like weeks with them and then out of the blue they'll just cancel um, you'll have album sales that'll flop You'll have, um, you'll host pop-ups where nobody shows up. And I've done that a couple times now, so it's really not um, devastating anymore to me because I'm used to it. Um, you just kind of learn to roll with it because um, there'll be, there are moments when you think you just can't do this and you want to just sell everything and just quit. And then I've had moments where I've been watching like the home office call and, and I hear Deanne say something and she starts tearing up and I start tearing up and then pretty soon we're all crying and I feel like I'm never leaving this company. I'm never leaving this company. Um, it's just fantastic. And I feel like I see miracles every day and I see the culture and the love in this company. And um, like one of the things that's really powerful for me is that Deanne, who is the owner and the founder, um, her she recently had a, a new granddaughter, new little baby named Scarlett, and this beautiful little girl was born with Down syndrome. And it touches me. I have friends who have children with Down syndrome. And um, so as a therapist, you know, I, I work with a lot of families who have different issues in their lives. And um, so I have a respect for the differences in people. And she has, um, Deanne has come out with this new dress. It's, it's actually a Carly. We have a Carly dress for ladies and this is the scarlet is going to be the carly version of the carly for little girls um and my daughter loves it and my daughter is nine and she just um she loves this dress and we just got our box in yesterday it's brand new so we just got it and um, i was so touched because deanne had said that a dollar from every sale of every scarlet is going to go to the um national down syndrome um association and um i'm so excited about that and i um, I love to do fundraisers. That's been a huge thing for my business and I have done, uh, I'm on my third fundraiser right now. I've uh, helped Hemophilia of Georgia and Camp One O'Clock. I've helped um, German Shepherd Rescue of New Jersey and now I am helping um, uh, Autism Speaks Walk for the month of April. Um, next month we are going to be helping Muscular Dystrophy. 
So um, I love to be able to reach out to people that are affected by these causes and say, hey, how would you like it if we can get a few hundred dollars for you? Through the sales of LuLaRoe, people will get beautiful clothing and your cause will get a contribution. And because the home office of LuLaRoe offers matching funds, everything I raise, they double. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity and I think it's a win-win for everyone. And um, So that's been exciting for me. I think that's something if you're considering jumping into LuLaRoe, knowing that you can also express your love and your um, appreciation for your fellow man by doing these fundraisers and it, it, that's been a huge deal for me. Um, so these are the, the fun aspects of the company. Um, I mean, I'm at the point now, it's um, today's April um, 5th, April 5th. And so I'm at the point now where definitely my initial investment since um, September is long paid off. Because, um, you know, with, with total sales last year of over $30,000, um, clearly I have paid off my initial investment. Um, lots of money reinvested into the company. I did turn around and uh, build my inventory from close to 350 pieces to now where I have about a thousand. So that was a choice of mine to triple my size. And I wanted to do that for bigger sales and to be able to offer more things to my customers. So that was a personal choice. You don't have to do that. You can choose to carry as many or as few things as you want. I just wanted to go big because I like to go bigger at home and want to team build and and I enjoy it. Um, I guess I do haul everything in my car when I do an in-home pop-up. Um, that's my exercise. And my husband helps me load up my car the night before. And usually I'm going to the pop-up by myself. I usually just do it by myself. So I have a, a rolling flatbed hand truck that I take my bags in with. And I carry five racks, five uh, collapsible racks. And um, I've learned to do it. And um, it's work. It is definitely work. Um, booking the pop-ups, holding the pop-ups selling. Um, most of the time when I'm at a pop-up, I'm just kind of sitting at the house, um, talking with the customers, just chatting about their lives. And if they have questions about the styles, I answer them. Maybe I suggest a few things, but it's not a lot of where you like high pressure anything. So I, that would be a turn off. Um, so I like the fact that you just kind of let women come in and just browse. And if they find things great, you know, and people always find things. So it's, it's a great way to make seven, eight hundred dollars in an afternoon and um, up to maybe a thousand dollars in a pop-up. And this is not bad money for just an afternoon of work. And then I usually turn around and, and take half of that and buy some more stuff and then I take the other half and put it in my bank account so we have income. And um, I'm also still running a full-time counseling practice um, at the same time. So I wish I could devote a little bit more time to my LuLaRoe but I'm kind of like I'm the owner of the counseling practice, so I can't just walk away from that job. So I know there are some of you out there who might be thinking, oh, you know, I have a full-time job and I can't just quit it right now. Well, you don't have to. You can do both. And, um, you know, if you get to a place where you feel like you could jump off from the full-time job, if you wanted to, then you could jump into LuLaRoe and do it fully. And some of my friends have done that in the last few months. And they're having a great experience just doing LuLaRoe full time. So you can be with your family more often. You can choose your own hours. I mean, like I'm down in my, my basement boutique right now and it's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> the house is quiet. My daughter's having a sleepover and I'm going to wrap this up and then go upstairs and get ready for bed. And, um, tomorrow I just work a few hours at my counseling practice and then I have an album sale, which kind of runs itself. Um, so I can be making money while I'm having dinner out with my family. Really nice, really nice opportunity. So please let me know if you are interested in joining my team, which is called Pure Energy. And I'm looking for a few more. I don't want to have too many directs. I um, would like to cap myself around 10 or 12. So um, I'm maybe like a quarter away or a third of the way there right now. Actually, I'm more than that. So um, I'm excited. Um, I love training. And um, let me know if you're interested in the opportunity or want to know more or even if you just want to shop. You know, the link to my Facebook shopping page is in my profile. And um, I'll also put it um, in, in a comment of this video. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go wrap up and get ready for bed and enjoy the rest of my week.